good afternoon and welcome to a Tuesday edition of CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Sarah Cody. You're like moving your arm around a little bit because you it, just got the flu shot. Flu shot day here at the station. Yeah, Man, I gotta, I'm feeling it. I know. I got to run upstairs <laughs> and do it too, but it's a good thing to do. Absolutely. You're now prepared. Should do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we have a few things on tap today. Our friend Chef Attilio Marini from the Chop House, the cast iron chef, Chop House and Oyster Bar in New Haven. Well, they are expanding and serving brunch, which is my favorite meal of the You day. know, what's better than brunch? Who doesn't like brunch? And this is a always a Pretty spectacular. Oh, yeah. He's bringing us a preview. All right, great. And we also have uh, Mike from the Miracle League in the house. It's a great group that I've been doing a lot of stories with in the past few months. Mm -hmm. um, they are launching an adaptive dance program in three locations around the state this coming weekend. There's one right here in New Haven, so we're going to hear all about it. Fantastic. But first, we have to give a birthday wish to Bertha Riva. Bertha. There she is, everybody. This is my husband's great grandmother, my children's That's great great grandmother. Really incredible. Yeah, so we have five generations of Dufours. There everybody is. Uh, she's also one of the reasons I married my husband, <laughs> go figure. So she was kind of the matchmaker. She kind of was the, the matchmaker, matchmaker yeah. Because she lives up in Gear Village in, uh, in Canaan. And they have this spectacular Christmas village. And Brandon shot the village and said, Hey, what are the chances you can show this on CT Style? I was like, Oh, I love a good Christmas village. Sure. We put it on, and then he said, I owe you dinner. He's a smooth operator. So, Bertha, <laughs> this is all because of you, I guess. Happy birthday. I hope you celebrate big. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. All right, today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. So, you can get a Big Mac from McDonald's for a penny and a little bit extra. For a penny, <laughs> DoorDash is giving away a million McDonald's Big Macs for a penny plus a fee through Friday. So you get the double decker sandwich at DoorDash.com or on the app using promo code 1M Big Mac. Yeah, the fees though are $2.99. Okay. you will also be automatically <laughs> entered into the sweepstakes to win a million bucks. That seems a good deal. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, it's still less than what it would normally be. It offers good while supplies last. All right. And the FAA will test to see if shrinking seat sizes are safe as the average American gets older and larger. That's certainly not comfortable. Think? I know. I, the agency will do 12 days of testing with about 700 volunteers. It's happening in November. They'll simulate things like emergency evacuations to see if different amounts of leg room impact the evacuation time. So I don't think people are going to like this, but by federal <laughs> mandate, an evacuation should take no longer than 90 seconds. Now the FAA will use the test results mm -hmm. to come up with these seat space Standards. I mean, they're drastically different. I don't know if you've been on some of the new airlines out yeah, of Bradley. They are super small mm -hmm. and kind of uncomfortable, and, and we're small. They're right, right. saying that. So are they saying they could be even smaller even than smaller, that? Even smaller, potentially, yeah, if they're tough. safe. That's yeah. tough. All right, an unprecedented snowstorm made for some pretty incredible wedding photos. Yeah, so for the first time in recorded history, it snowed in Spokane, Washington on September 28th. Oh, my goodness. Now, the bride and groom <sighs> were expecting colorful fall foliage, but the photographer says they were equally thrilled by the gorgeous snow backdrop. That is kind of special. It's so pretty. I yeah. mean, they're probably freezing, right. but it looks lovely. Well, you never know. If it was snowing in September, maybe it was one of those freak things where the weather was actually it. okay. Oh. Sure. And then it melted quickly. You and know? you have the pretty pictures yeah, now. Yeah, you got the pictures. <laughs> All right. Oprah Winfrey is announcing that she's going to donate 1.5 million bucks to help minority kids go to college. Oprah is just awesome. So she was speaking at the 17th annual Maya Angelou Women Who Lead Luncheon in Charlotte, North Carolina on Saturday when she made this very generous pledge. That's right. Uh, she raised $1.5 million and Oprah matched that amount, bringing the total well over to what the group expected to raise. So Oprah is always a great helping hand, isn't she? She is, but you know, she's Oprah. She's, uh, she's powerful. She's in charge. That's right. I love it. <laughs> All right, uh, it's time to load up on veggies today. Are you a veggie eater? You know, I try. It's World Vegetarian Day. I, I think I like carbs and meat oh, right. and all that better, <laughs> but I try. <laughs> yeah, people typically choose a vegetarian diet for one or two reasons. They ethically choose not to mm -hmm. eat animals or to Im eliminate meat and other animal products for health reasons. Now, college athletes in California will have an easier time getting paid for endorsements from now on. Why is that, I wonder? Because the governor there just signed a law that lets student athletes earn money from their name, image, and likeness. This was kind of controversial. Yeah, the Fair Pay to Play Act takes effect in 2023. Right now, the NCAA bans student athletes from making any money while playing college sports. It has not commented on the law. All right, interesting. Not bad. I yeah. mean, if you earned it, go for it. Right, that's right. But young to have yeah. that kind of responsibility. Sure. All With right. the 